Hello friends today we will discuss about another medicinal plant which is papaya somnifera so first let us discuss about its habitat papaya somnifera is believed to be originated from south america but now it is cultivated in different parts of the world in india it is cultivated in up mp and rajasthan So next let us discuss about its habit. So papaya plant is also known as poppy plant. So this poppy plant is erect and is an annual plant. Poppy plant is rarely branched and its leaves is linear and ovate. The poppy plant has flowers in different colors. Bluish white, purple, O violet are the colors normally found. So this is about the habit of papaya somnifera. It is erect and an annual plant. It is rarely branched. The leaves are linear or ovate. It bears bluish white, purple, O violet flowers. This diagram shows the papaya somnifera flowers. These flowers are in different colors from bluish white to violet in color these plants are very erect plants next wood is the usual part of papaya somnifera it is the capsule so the diagram you can see in this slide is about the capsule of papaya somnifera Next, let us discuss the morphology of capsules. So, the capsules vary not only in size but also in shape. Some of them are ovoid, where some are globular in structure. So, these capsules are depressed both at the apex and the base. So, the capsules vary in size and shape. It is ovoid or globular in structure and it is depressed at the apex and base. So the diameter of these capsules is 3 to 4 in diameter and they are pale yellow to brown in color and they often have dark spots in these capsules. So at the base there is a pedicel and a thalamus so at the base of a capsule there is a pedicel and thalamus so this appears slightly swelling on the stalk so the pedicel and the thalamus is seen in the form of a swelling on the stalk and this is marked with scars and these scars are formed by the fall of perianth parts so the scars are present in this region and this is because of the fall of the perianth parts. So at the apex there is stigma and the stigma is present in 8 to 16 rays. So in the base there is pedicel and thalamus and this pedicel and thalamus is seen as a solid part of the stalk and there is scars and these scars are marked by the fall of perianth and when we look at the apex there is stigma. So this is the morphology of capsules. Now let us discuss the phytochemicals that are present in the plant. They are morphine, narcotin, codeine, thevine, heroin, and paparillin. Along with these phytochemicals, there are several other components like mycoic acid, and this mycoic acid is present in combination with morphine, mycelage, sugar, salts of calcium and magnesium, and wax. So these are the phytochemicals and the other components that are present in the plant. Now let us discuss some of the phytochemicals in detail. First we will discuss about heroin. 
heroin is a derivative of morphine and this heroin is more potent than morphine so heroin is a derivative of morphine but heroin is more potent than morphine the morphine is lipid insoluble whereas heroin is lipid soluble so since morphine is lipid insoluble Though it can cross the blood brain barrier there causes a conjugation whereas in heroin since it is lipid soluble it can cross the blood brain barrier easily and after it crosses the blood blood brain barrier it is acted on the limbic system of the brain so the limbic system is a part of the brain and in this part of the brain the behavioral and emotions are being controlled so when heroin is crossed and reaches the limbic system a dream like sensation is being produced there so this is about the phytochemical heroin now let us discuss the uses of heroin heroin is used to relieve pain to treat coughs it is also used to treat the intestinal spams and respiratory spams it is also used as a sedative and to treat diarrhea and abdominal cramping it is also used to relax the involuntary muscles the poppy seed oil is also used as a vehicle for parenterals So now let us discuss about another phytochemical which is morphine. So morphine goes and binds to the opioid receptors. So these opioid receptors are present on the surface of nerve cells. So when morphine goes and binds to the receptor which is present on a nerve cell a chain of reactions occurs inside the cell. and due to these chain of reactions the cell membrane becomes less excited so this means that the nerve impulses are not generated and it is not generated since the nerve cell becomes sluggish morphine also affects in pain processing areas of brain and therefore it causes drowsiness nausea respiratory depressions etc it also affects the git which is the gastric intestinal tract so here a decreased motility and secretion occurs it also increases the resting stone and spams and all of this combined to produce a constipation so a constipation also occurs when morphine is present in the body so it also causes increased turn of urinary bladder wall and thus it increases the urinary retention next we will discuss about another phytochemical which is the bay this phytochemical is not medically used but This phytochemical can be used as a substrate that is using this tebe we can create that is we can semi synthesize other components so this is the importance of the phytochemical tebe if you like the video please do like and share with your friends don't forget to subscribe to the channel bytech simplified